Good morning to you. We're here once again. Uh, Going to have church here at Kellogg Church, 4430 Piedmont Road. And uh, we're glad that you've decided to tune in with us. Uh, uh, I will make this announcement, uh, and I'll try to make a call uh, uh, on Monday. Tomorrow is Monday, isn't it? Uh, we'll have a board meeting tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock in the pastor's study, and I'll make that one call and, and remind those that probably aren't listening in right now. We're glad you're here with us this morning, and I, we want you to get your praisers uh, uh, tuned up, and let's praise the Lord, worship Him this morning, and feel like we've gone to church. It's surprising how the enemy will try to... Uh, uh, to hinder uh, people along the way. I, I uh, remember uh, uh, someone that I talked to a couple of weeks ago, and they were just blessed beyond measure. And then last week uh, when we had service, they, they were, were down. But this morning, we want you to climb up out of that valley, lift your hands and praise the Lord and say, I'm not going to let no devil get me down. Let's have a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we're grateful this morning for all your blessings. And thank God for the day that we started living. We pray that Holy Spirit this morning that you would help us. We've come together to worship you. And you said they that worship you must worship you in spirit. And we ask you, Lord God, to send the spirit of the living God. And Heavenly Father, wherever there's someone listening in, touch them, Heavenly Father, that they may know that the presence of the Lord is in that place. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. And amen. Now we'll have another song. All I want to do is love you All I want to do is worship you All I want to do is lay here Right at your feet <laughs> As I lift my hands to heaven Let your fire fall fire within me once again All I want to do is love you All I want to do is worship you All I want to do is lay Stay. 
quite a message in that song. You know, at this time when we, uh, when we ought to have time on our hands, it would be a good time to let the Lord rekindle that fire within you. We're thankful that you're here this morning and we want you to worship with us. Why not just lift our hands? I, I, I feel so good this morning. Praise the Lord. Certainly he's worthy. Thank God he's worthy this morning. We're going to have a song from Robin at this time. Oh, praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. It's my desire to live for Jesus. It's my desire to live for Him. Although I fail him and bring him much shame it's my desire to live for him it's my desire Day. Someone who may have failed to see the way I too was once so lost, but I found my way to God. It's my desire to live for Him. If you could see where Jesus brought me from to where I am today. Jesus brought me from to where I am today, then you would know the reason why I love him so. To live 
just for him. We'll now have a song by Steve Bailey. If uh, you have your Bibles there and you usually turn with us, uh, turn to Luke chapter 15 this morning. Say good morning to everyone this morning. It, uh, that was a powerful song. It, I hope you all felt it like I did here in the sanctuary. It, uh, part of one of the lines in it Robin sang was, it's my desire to be a help to someone today. And that, that's why we're here. We're, we want to be a help. Uh, we want to be a lifting up. And if you could see where he brought me from, to where I am today, <laughs> bless the Lord. I, I've had this song on my heart for, I told Brother Roger about all week. I haven't sung it in a long time. But uh, you, you, you like to have that reassurance that, that things are right. And just the little talk that Brother Roger gave in the beginning was people being in the valley. And uh, I, I know that this virus has caused a lot of visits to the valley by a lot of people. I've read a lot of things about it uh, this past week especially. Uh, families upon families, countless numbers of families affected by this and husbands and wives passing away and, and uh, some of them just within minutes of each other. And uh, I, I, the thought went through my mind, oh, I hope they were prepared to make that crossing. And, and what, what a way to leave this world, <laughs> to leave with the love of your life and headed for glory. What, what, a, what a blessing. But uh, one of the stories that really struck me was a young lady in New York, a nurse, that took her own life because things were so depressing. She, couldn't, she just couldn't find that point of being a help or an uplift. And, and I thought about that valley that that young lady must have been in and how desperate but I read where Jesus is the lily of the valley. And I looked, I, I, I checked that lily out one time. I did some search on it and reading. And th there's such a variety and such a species of lilies. It's, it, it's unbelievable what it looked like. A, an artist rendering of a drawing was one of the most beautiful pictures that I'd ever seen. And if we could find that spot in the valley where we find the love of God in that, in that lily, how, how beautiful that it can be. And then we begin to make our way out. But uh, uh, this, this song here, just please listen to the words of it. Don't, don't even, if you want to, just close your eyes at home and, and just listen to the words of this song as we try to sing it. It's number three, brother. High upon this mountain, the sun is shining bright. My heart is filled with gladness here above the cares of life. But I've just come through the valley of trouble, fear, and pain. It was there I came to know my God enough to stand and say even in the valley God is good even in the valley He is faithful and true He carries His children through like He said He would even in the valley, God is good. This road of life has led you 
into a valley of defeat. You wonder if the Father has heard your desperate plea. There is hope in that rugged place where tears of sorrow dwell. Can't you hear him gently whispering, I'm here and all is well. Even in the valley, God is good. Even in the valley, he is faithful and true. He carries his children through like he said he would. Even in the valley, God is good. Even in the valley, God is good. Even in the valley, He is faithful and true. He carries His children through like He said He would. Even in the valley, God is good. Even valley God is good Like I said there a minute ago, uh, we're going to try to to preach to you this morning out of St. Luke chapter 15, and yet uh, you noticed I said try. If the Spirit of the living God, and I know that the Spirit of the Lord has been here since the very beginning, and I expect Him to give the anointing uh, this morning, but... If, if he gives it, we'll preach. And I've, I've often said I'm not going to stand here and, and blow hot air. If, if God doesn't give it, then we'll just go home. But in the 15th chapter, and I've read and, and I've, I've noticed from notes I've got in my Bible that many and many of times that we've preached from this scripture, well known to many a folk. But in the uh, beginning at the 11th verse, of St. Luke chapter 15 and he said Jesus doing the speaking and a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said unto his father father give me the portion of goods which falleth to me and he divided unto them his living and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took a journey into a far country and there spent his substance with riotous living. And when all was spent, there arose a mighty famine in the land And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him out in the fields to feed swine. And he would have fain have the, had filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. And no man gave him to eat. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants in my father's house have enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. 
I will arise and go to my father. And I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of thine hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. And when he was yet a far way off, the father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. And the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it upon him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fattest calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be and make merry. I, I thought this morning as many of times uh, God will just uh, in the midst of prayer show us a scripture and I, I thought, I was thinking that it hadn't been that long, but I guess it has been somewhat of two years since that I, I, I preached from uh, this, uh, this scripture. But if I would have preached it last week and God gave it to me this week, I, I guarantee you by the help of the grace of God that we would have tried to give you something from this scripture. But I began to think uh, about this scripture this morning and, and, and of how uh, that my friends uh, here in this 15th chapter that we have uh, three different parables. We have a parable of a lost sheep. We have a parable of a piece or a coin of money that was lost. And here that we find a son that my friend that was lost. And I began to think of all the things that were spoken there. I, I, I'm glad that I have opportunity this morning to preach unto that son. And I began to think this morning as I uh, was uh, in the study and, and, and here in the sanctuary uh, on uh, my knees and began to think that somewhere, no doubt this morning, there's a child of God that, that my friend is out there that's far away. There is one of, 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 of your uh, of creation, dear God, this morning that it is maybe listening to the word of God as we try to, uh, with our stammering voice and, and, and many a times our, our speech that, that uh, uh, many a times I, I, it, it just doesn't come out the way we want to. But I begin to think this morning how good that it is to know that wherever that there is a person, my friend, outside of the ark of safety, there is a God in heaven with arms outstretched and saying, come unto me, all you that labor are heavy laden, I will give you rest. I'm glad this morning that I can come unto you this morning, begin to think of this, this old boy. I don't, people look upon the scripture and, and I I, I, I suppose that it was a parable because it tells us there, but I thought it could very well be a real situation because how many times has there been a boy or a girl, my friend, that decided that they were tired of living under the rule of mommy and daddy and, 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 and maybe it was just a little bit harsh the way that mommy and daddy, they ruled with the, 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 raw, uh, uh, the iron hand many of times and my friend uh, uh, they were restricted in so many 
many ways only for their own good because that God, uh, because that, that the Father uh, cared e- enough about them uh, that, that he, uh, uh, my friend, uh, uh, he tried, that the Father and the Mother tried and did everything that they could uh, to make sure that they would be able to mold uh, that boy or that girl uh, into something, my friend, uh, uh, that's where that they'd be able to go out upon their own and become pro, uh, productive citizens, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, and I thought, uh, how good that it is, my friend, to know uh, uh, that wherever uh, that there is one, uh, my friend, uh, that is, is, is there strain this morning, that there uh, is a God that is out there seeking. I thought the Bible uh, tells you and I uh, uh, that Jesus came to seek and to save that one which was lost. Uh, and I thought if there was but one, uh, uh, my friend, this morning uh, uh, that, that was in need of the Lord Jesus Christ, that they had never come to the place to where uh, they had sought him at an altar of prayer and found his grace sufficient. Uh, my friend turned uh, uh, from their ways and doings as still uh, uh, that this morning that he's out there for you. Uh, began to think this morning of this uh, uh, one that many of times we call uh, uh, my friend the prodigal son uh, and, and thought of, of how uh, that with his uh, 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 his so-called riotous living and my friend, his uh, his ways and doing, he just spent how uh, he thought, well, uh, he got a few cents or a few dollars in, in his pocket uh, and he decided, well, uh, I'll just go out and have a big time with it. Uh, and he went out and, and he did his thing. Uh, and my friend of how uh, that he didn't realize uh, uh, that there was a tomorrow. May I say this? Uh, you better prepare uh, for a day and realize there's a tomorrow. Uh, and I thought how uh, uh, that my friend there's so many uh, uh, that are out upon the highways and the fields of sin this morning. Uh, they never look for tomorrow, but may I say this, uh, uh, you're going to stand before the judgment bar of God uh, and you're going to have to give an account of yourself before him. I, I thought, my friend, uh, here we go with the prodigal son, uh, my friend, as he, uh, uh, after uh, uh, some days, he, he takes up that uh, that he had. Uh, he had got his inheritance for him, from his father, uh, and, and he headed down the road. Uh, I'm sure he felt like uh, uh, that he couldn't uh, uh, be what that he thought he wanted to be, and I thought of the number of folk uh, uh, that as quick as they get away from a father father's house. Uh, maybe mom and dad had taken them to church uh, and my friend, maybe uh, they had been trained and brought up in the way that they should go. Uh, uh, but now, my friend, they're away. Uh, many a times they'll go out of state, my friend, trying to get uh, away from uh, 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 the promises of, of God and my friend, uh, away from uh, the uh, the uh, teachings that mom and dad had gave unto them. Uh, but my friend, I want you to know uh, that wherever you go, wherever you are this morning, that the mighty hand of God is there and you'll not be able to get away from it. I I thought, oh, how good that it is to know that there is a loving father. I thought as we began to look at this scripture, there was a father, no doubt, that he just loved his son enough that he was willing to give him his portion of of, of goods. He thought, well, uh, these don't mean that much to me. Uh, And and if it'll it'll, uh, uh, allow uh, that son to to, uh, uh, to learn from his experience, I think uh, probably the father knew. Uh, Maybe the father had had been there and seen some of the same things uh, uh, that that, uh, he had seen, uh, uh, my friend. And and I thought uh, as my children grew up, I tried to uh, uh, to, 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 uh, point them in a direction and tell them uh, uh, of, of dad's mistakes and believe me I've made a many a mistake along the way I, I think one of the first things that I tried to do I, is to, I, uh, to get them uh, uh, away from those four letter words and I tell them I, it takes a bigger man or a bigger woman I, I, to find a word that you could use uh, and my friend I'll tell you I, I, I certainly I, I knew how uh, to cuss with the best of them I, uh, but thank God there came a day I, when Jesus became the light
side of my life and my friends, I, I began to, uh, to find a new speech and, and, and a new uh, language, thank God. I, I thought, my friends, uh, here it is. Uh, the old boy begins to make his trip and, and, and make his, makes his way into a far country. Uh, and there the Bible tells us that he spent all that he had. Uh, uh, brother, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, there have been many a, a, a man and women, a woman and boys and girls that they, uh, they never thought, uh, my friend, that they'd ever go uh, as far as they, uh, they were gone, uh, my friend. And certainly, uh, uh, my friend, they'd never ever, ever think that they'd find themselves in a place where uh, uh, that they would spend, uh, uh, my friend, uh, the, the wealth of, 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 of their soul, my friend, like they did, but they have. Uh, and here they are, my friend, in want. Uh, I thought, oh, that somehow this morning uh, that I could get a message uh, across using this parable uh, of my friend of the prodigal son to get people to realize uh, uh, that my friend, uh, uh, my friend, uh, that one of these days uh, that, that you'll, uh, uh, you'll certainly wish uh, that my friend that you'd take time uh, and realize the good things uh, of life. I thought of the number of people uh, uh, that I've uh, seen over the years uh, uh, that my friend that they've wasted their life uh, uh, with riotous living and now uh, uh, because uh, of disease, my friend, uh, uh, they find themselves uh, uh, down upon the bed of affliction uh, where if my friend, uh, uh, they, they hadn't uh, uh, went the way they went and did the things that they had done, uh, they would probably have never been in the condition that they are and I would to God that somehow you would realize that today is the day of salvation for every man, woman, boy and girl that believe and that this morning that you have a new opportunity I thought my friend as I looked at that prodigal son I seen an old boy that once knew of the graciousness of God's house and I thought that I might be a my friend, uh, uh, preaching to someone uh, uh, that once had an, a good experience uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you, you served him with all of your heart, with all your soul, uh, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. But today, uh, uh, my friend, something came up, uh, and because of that, uh, my friend, you took all up, then my friend went your way uh, in another direction, away from the church, and away from the brethren, uh, and the sport you're out there, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, kind of like this old boy was when he found himself down in the hog pen. I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, when you go away from the, the Lord God this morning, you'll certainly go away uh, and you'll go into a hog pen, uh, uh, my friend, and live, uh, uh, my friend, uh, uh, in a lot of ways that you don't want to live. Uh, but may I say this this morning, uh, that God is still upon the throne and he's still hearing for the voice and the cry of that individual as he cries out unto him and say, Father, forgive me. Oh, praise the Lord. I look at this old boy. He found himself just as about as far down as old Jew boy could find himself. Found himself there feeding the swine. And I believe that he was probably so hungry that if the opportunity had been given, he'd probably eat of some of those husks uh, that those uh, uh, hogs were eating on my friend uh, and all of a sudden uh, it came to him uh, you say well wow, how in the world did it came to him uh, I believe that that was pointed out to him uh, say uh, did you know uh, uh, that when in, in father's house of the good life that you had uh, how that you had plenty to eat uh, uh, you had clothes on your back and shoes on your feet uh, and the blessings uh, uh, of the father were upon you uh, uh, but look at yourself now. Uh, here you are in the worst of condition. Uh, uh, your clothes are, are, are tattered and, and torn. Uh, and maybe my friend, he, he, he had come to the place where that the shoes on his feet, uh, he had probably sold him uh, uh, to maybe have uh, uh, one more uh, uh, opportunity uh, uh, there, uh, my friend, to, to live his, his riotous living. Uh, and now he looks at himself and thinks, oh, what have I done? What have I done? I, and I thought there's a many a man that's done that. They come to the place where that they said, what have I done? They find them 
himself my, uh, far away from God. Uh, and my friend, they wonder uh, how in the world that they could ever, uh, uh, my friend, get back uh, in the place where uh, uh, that they, they were at one time. And yet, uh, I say unto you, it can be just like the prodigal son uh, when he said it came to himself. Uh, and he said, uh, why in my father's house he, uh, were all these things? He said, I know what I'll do. I, I'll arise and I'll go to father's house and I'll tell him that I'm, I'm no more worthy to be called. He so said, just make me one of your hired servants. I'll tell you what, when God humbles a heart, my friend, and they begin to see themselves in light of eternity and realize that my friend, that one of these days that they're going to be facing, my friend, a place called heaven or my friend, the dreads of a devil's hell, it'll cause them to begin to think upon the matter and I thought my friend of that individual that's out there this morning lost and without God today is your day God's calling your number and he's saying come out from the shambles that you're in and out of the pit of sin and the hope pen that my friend maybe you found yourself in and my friend you can have newness of life go on your way I thought my friend I said that that in these uh, parables uh, uh, that there was something that was lost uh, and there was something that was found uh, when a man comes to the place where he sees uh, that he can't uh, uh, my friend do it upon his own and realize uh, that there is a higher power uh, and is willing my friend uh, uh, to let go and turn loose and let God have his way uh, in his life then uh, uh, the joy my friend of the Lord can be in his soul uh, I can see it now uh, the old boy, he gets up no doubt. My friend starts on that journey. He may have his head down as he went along the way, but in the midst of it, he thought, how am I going to face my dad? I'm going to have to eat crow. I thought I was so big and could do just anything that I wanted to do. Now I'm going to have to go and say, just make me one of your servants. As, as he was on his way, I believe that there was one that was looking at uh, out my friend no doubt uh, they realized that, that their son was, was, was gone and it was need uh, and I thought of the number uh, of mothers and fathers along the way uh, uh, that have prayed and, 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 and looked and prayed and looked uh, waiting for that time when uh, that child would see uh, uh, their need and make their way uh, from their wandering uh, uh, back into the, uh, the fold my friend uh, and yet here he come uh, and the father when he seen him coming he never thought to my friend of anything that he had done. He is, is, uh, he is his mind and his fault was on. That's my son. And my friend, I thought this morning uh, that God is still uh, looking out unto that child that is out there lost and, and undone this morning. Uh, and and uh, but for a, a moment of time, uh, you can have joy uh, and, and, and you can know, thank God for yourself and not another, uh, that all is well with your soul. He came to his father. I'm sure he had his message rehearsed. And now, Father, I've sinned and I'm no more worthy to be called your son. The old father, he grabbed him and hugged him and put his arm around him and he could sit all he wanted to. Well, I'll just be one of your hired servants. The father, he had already made plans. Thank God. He said that son was lost. He now is found and my friend he put shoes upon his feet a ring upon his hand and put new clothing and garment I'll tell you what when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ he'll put a new garment upon you I put something within your glory that you've never experienced I remember that night when I got up from that altar of prayer my friend I had certainly sinned a high heaven I knew that I was far away from God but when I I asked him, I said that one great big yes to Jesus. I, and my friend, he satisfied the longing of the soul. I, I got up and my friend, the people, I, I looked 
different than they had ever looked before. I, I went out of that church house and looked around about. And my friends, the trees and the grass and everything else looked better than it had ever looked before. And I remember getting to the house and, I, and certainly, my friend, I, I treated my wife not so good because of the sin, my friend, that was in my life. But I remember that night for the first time as she told me, I, 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 I never said it before, but I said, honey, I am sorry. When I, my friend, began to live and there was joy, thank God, and peace in the knowing that, thank God, I'd passed from death unto life. You say, preacher, what, what is it now? It's still joy. It's still peace. It's still happiness. I've never been able to get over it. You say, don't you have a, a, a days when you don't feel so good? Well, don't we all? But in the midst of it, I feel like the, the, the person that comes here, an old sister, and she said, my worst days with the Lord, with the, 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 the Lord are better than my best days that I had with the devil. I'll tell you what, it pays to serve Jesus, and it pays every day. And this morning, my friend, if you're a prodigal out there upon the, the highways of sin, today is your day. I realize you're down there that whole pen. I realize just how lost and how far away that you are. And then realize why in Father's house there's blessing and there's victory. And my friend, then make your way. You'll have to take the first step. But I'll tell you what, he'll meet you in the middle of the, of the way. Put those big arms around you and my friend, kiss every sin away. I start you upon a new road, thank God, where there's life and peace and joy and happiness. Today's your day. So prodigal, come to Jesus and let Jesus satisfy the longing of your soul. We'll now have another song. <clears throat>